Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my old multimeter that I've had for about 10 or 15 years now and it's done a great job but I got it out just yesterday to check the voltage on a battery and notice when I turned it on that the battery has finally gone flat. It uses a 9 volt battery that goes in the back here. So I thought yeah well that's not a drama, I'll just go and get another 9 volt battery and um, I think they're about $4.50 maybe, $5 for a 9 volt battery. But then I also noticed that um, one of my probes is broken so the black one you can see here is fine but on the other end on the um, on the red side, on the positive side, um, my probe has come off somewhere. Uh, and then I started looking for a replacement set of just leads. I thought well I can just unclip these and go and buy a new um, set of leads. So I found some of these online at a local electronics store and I think they were going to be about 10 or 12 dollars maybe something like that. So I added it up so it'd be up for about 17, 18 dollars something like that to get a new battery and new leads. That wasn't uh, an issue. I thought yeah that's fine I'll just do that and get it going. But I was in the local supermarket this morning and I found this in the specials aisle. And this is a Aldi branded digital multimeter and this um, was uh, in the specials bin and it was actually on sale about two and a half weeks ago and I think they've had surplus stock and, um, and it was just sort of in the specials aisles. Now the Aldi supermarkets are quite common here in Australia, I think they're also in New Zealand. They may even be in North America and Canada, I'm not too sure, you may tell me whether you've got Aldi stores over there. But this Ferrex brand here, that's sort of the generic name brand that a lot of the Aldi tools and stuff have and occasionally they have um, weeks where they have um, electronic gear and then tools and um, drills and saws and routers and things like that. So as I said, this was on sale uh, about two and a half weeks ago, but I don't know, not obviously everybody that goes to an Aldi supermarket wants to buy a digital multimeter. So this was in the specials aisle and I picked this up for $19.99, let's call it $20. So about the same cost as taking my old one and refurbing it a bit. And um, so I thought, well, let's just buy a new multimeter and see what that's like. So what I'm going to do today is just open it up and have a look inside and um, just see how it looks. So I'm just going to open the box up first and have a look inside. Let's take that box away for the minute. And so there we have, there it is there. Now what I can see initially is that it's um, a lot larger than my old one was. And you can see the difference in the size of the display there. This one here is a, is a lot bigger. Um, so that's a good thing. And it's also got this uh, protective case that's around it. You can see here that this actually comes out. It's a, a plastic case, which is a bit like what you may have in your mobile phone, I suppose, that if you drop it or something, it gives you a bit of edge protection. Um, on the back is a, uh, a stand, so you can stand it up if you're working on a bench, I guess which would be handy. And one thing I've just noticed when I looked on the back here, it's got these holders here and I think what that's for is if I just grab a lead here. So what this is, is you can actually put one of the probes in here and it sort of sits there and that means that when you're actually testing the voltage on something you can actually hold the unit and then just do this rather than having this on the bench and then using the the two probes so I quite like that that's that's a good idea I think that's going to be pretty good now it hasn't got a battery in it so let's open it up and put a battery and the battery comes in the box here so we'll have a look in the box here a set of instructions and a warranty card what's the warranty on it warranty is three years which is pretty good for a $20 multimeter. It comes with a Aldi brand super alkaline battery, 9 volt battery. Um, so that's pretty good and comes with a new set of probes here as well. 
So let's put the battery in and um, we can then turn it on and see what it looks like. Okay, I've just connected up my 9 volt battery and that sort of sits in there quite nicely. And one thing I've noticed when I've got the back off here is you can see here there's two fuses here and it's good that these are replaceable. So if you overcook your settings and don't have the right um, voltage, for example, on the front and you um, blow a fuse, it means that you can get into the back of this and just replace these fuses, which is a, uh, I think that's a pretty good feature. So just having a look at the uh, instruction book that comes with it is quite uh, quite good. You can see here it talks about um, replacing those fuses that I just um, showed that are on the back, which is good that you can replace those. And then it gives you an indication here on um, how to um, wire up the probe for different settings. So one is a communication setting. This one here is um, suitable for measuring currents of less than 200 milliamp resistance in the battery test for the internal battery. Uh, this one here is to indicate the 10 amp connection, which is suitable for measuring currents of more than 200 milliamp uh, voltage connection. And if this symbol lights up, it means that the battery on the actual machine itself is on its way out. So those instructions are are pretty good. I think it covers all the bases there. It gives you uh, an idea there on how to conduct different things. So let's um, connect our probes up and turn it on. So these are connections for the probes here. On the left hand side this one is used to check current up to a maximum of 10 amps and you can see underneath here it says fused um, 10 amp maximum. If you did happen to blow the fuse on this, we've seen on the inside there that you can easily change that out and put a new fuse in. The next one along is used to check milliamp current um, resistance and battery level using this setting here. And the battery level is really just the internal nine volt battery level to see um, how much uh, or how good the battery is in the actual meter. The third one here is, um, is COM or common. So this is a common ground um, connection port. This is usually what the black probe connects to. And the one on the right hand side here is the red um, voltage connector, which you use to check the voltage. Okay, looking at the main selector dial here, it's broken into a number of positions here, depending on what you want to measure. At the minute, I've currently selected DC voltage. And as you can see on the side here, there's a V with two parallel lines there, which indicates that this is DC voltage, and this will measure up to 300 volts DC. In the green section down here, um, you'll see a V and a sine wave symbol underneath it, so that's indicating um, AC voltage, and it'll measure from zero up to 300 volts AC. Up the top here, you can measure resistance um, from zero up to 20 mega ohm. Down the bottom here, you can see that you can measure amps or current on DC. There's a very small setting here for 200 micro ohms, which I think is called a mu for memory from my old electronics days. Um, and across here on this side, you'll see there's another setting for measuring current in AC. Now to turn on, it's a simple press button on the left here. And if you're measuring something and you want to keep the display, it's actually got a button on the right hand side here. You can just click that and it'll actually hold that display. Okay, what I've done now is I've just put the probe into the holder on the, the back of the um, meter here. And this is going to be great, I think, because it means that you can sort of just hold the whole assembly and just then connect it on and it'll read the the voltage without sort of having to use another hand. Um, so I like that. I like that feature of that holder on the back. I think that's a, a great idea. The other feature that I tend to use on multimeters quite often is this setting for continuity. And what this does is allows you to check whether there's a break in a wire somewhere. So you might be wanting to check uh, a wiring loom or something to see whether there's actually a break somewhere between um, the two ends of it. And to do that, really, it's just um, a case of getting your two probes 
and um, you can see here OL stands for open load which means it's not detecting anything and when you join the two probes together you hear a, um, a sound and you can see that the level is about um, about zero and this is a great feature for for checking um, you know if you have any breaks in wires and I tend to use this quite um, a lot on a multimeter so there we have it that's the Audi $20 digital multimeter and um, I think it's a good bit of kit I'm certainly more happy with spending my $20 on that than getting my older unit here and putting a new battery and probes on it so I think this will do the the job quite nicely it's got a couple of good features on it and uh, we'll see whether it lasts another 10 or 15 years anyway there it is um, if you're interested then make tracks to your local Audi supermarket and head for the specials aisle and with a bit of luck they may still have them all right that's it thanks for watching appreciate everybody's support see you next time